Hey guys, Anthony here with the review on Firefox 55, which was released on August 8, 2017. In this new update, there were a couple of major changes that I want to talk about, along with a few other minor changes. Firefox 55 is the fifth major update in 2017, so let's get down to it. First off, Firefox 55 for Windows brings virtual reality to life directly in your browser, thanks to WebVR technology using the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. You can go to this Mozilla website dedicated to virtual reality where you can explore this feature and even have fun building VR using A-Frame, which is a web framework. Next up, performance improvements. Under options, in the general tab, Mozilla has added options allowing users to optimize performance improvements, and by default, these settings will be enabled. But you can uncheck the Performance Settings box, and you will have the option to control hardware acceleration and the number of concurrent content processors. Hardware acceleration is the use of computer hardware to perform some functions more efficiently than is possible in software running on a more general purpose CPU or computer processing unit, and having this option checked can help improve browser performance. The second option relates to multi process architecture or project E10S. If your computer has more than 8 gigs of RAM, you will see the default set at 4 processors. The maximum number of processors is set at 7. In my case, I only have 8 gigs of RAM, so it is set at 1 process. Based on tests run by Mozilla on Windows 10, Firefox uses less memory than Google Chrome even with 8 content processors running. Also as part of Project Quantum, Mozilla has significantly reduced the time it takes to start Firefox when restoring tabs from a previous session. A Mozillian by name Dietrich Ayala ran an interesting test comparing the startup time on various versions of Firefox with 1691 open tabs and you can check the details of this experiment in his blog. I'll leave a link in the description section. Search suggestions are now enabled by default for users who haven't explicitly opted out. With this feature turned on, for example, if I type the word Firefox in the address bar, it'll display various search results to choose from based on your history, as well as give you an option to choose various search engines. You can turn off this feature under Options in the Search tab by unchecking these boxes. Mozilla has also introduced a new built-in screenshots feature in Firefox 55. You may notice the scissors icon in the menu bar up top. You can take screenshots of web pages by clicking the icon and then selecting any portion of the screen like so. You can then download it to your computer or save it to the cloud. The screenshot will remain in the cloud for 14 days and then be deleted, but you can change that if you want to. Firefox Screenshots is still in beta and not all users will have access to it, though you can get access to it by changing this Firefox preference to false. There is a little change to the sidebar button. If you use the sidebar button, to access bookmarks, history, or sync tabs, for example, let me choose bookmarks, you will notice that it displays in the left sidebar like so. If you click on this drop down arrow, you will see an option to move the sidebar to the right. I personally prefer it to the right side, so I like this option. And finally, Mozilla has introduced a simplified printing option. So if I print preview this page, for example, you will see a simplify page option up top, and this is what the page looks like, a little more print friendly. Before I wrap up, let me share some of the BrowserMark benchmark test results. There was a decent jump in overall performance when comparing results of Firefox 53 versus Firefox 54, and Firefox 55 also showed some more improvements in overall performance. However, when compared to Google Chrome 60, it's still behind. That being said, Firefox has made some good progress in 2017. Well, these were some of the key changes in Firefox 55. 
you can check the release notes for a full list of changes. You'll find the link in the description section. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.